Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Nick and if you're new here, I'm into all things reading, finance and technology. And today I wanted to share how to set up a stop loss order on Nabtrade and also a free alternative as unfortunately stop loss orders aren't free. I've had quite a few people comment on my previous NAB trade videos asking how to set up a stop loss order. So this is my video in response. Now, if you're watching this video, you're probably already familiar with what a stop loss order is. But just in case you're unfamiliar, a brief summary is basically that a stop loss order is when you set a sell price at a particular level. And if your share price drops to that level, it will automatically sell all your shares. And the idea is kind of in the name, it's to help stop any losses that you might incur by a share dramatically dropping in price. Now, personally, I don't use stop loss orders because it doesn't necessarily match my investing philosophy, but I'll touch on that a bit more at the end of the video. So in brief, unfortunately, which is quite frustrating, Nabtrade doesn't allow you to set up a stop loss order if you have a regular free account with the regular service level. You have to have a platinum service level and be subscribed to the IRS Trader platform, which is an additional $60 a month once you get the platinum service level. However, there is a free workaround if you don't wanna pay for the extra $60 a month or you don't qualify for the platinum level. And that is to set up a price alert within NAB Trade, which will then notify you when your share price is dropping and you can go and manually sell the share. So in this video, I'm gonna quickly outline how you can get the IRS Trader if you qualify for it. And then I'll go into more depth on how to set up a price alert so you can be notified if your share price is dropping so that you can go and sell it manually. Obviously, it's not the same because it won't automatically sell your share for you, but it's probably the next best thing if you're not going to subscribe to IRS Trader. And if you do find the video useful, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more investing content. So first up, the IRS Trader platform is an additional add-on to your existing NAB Trade account. And you're only eligible to subscribe to the IRS Trader if you're a platinum level member of NAB Trade. Now, in order to get over this first hurdle, which is to become a platinum level member of NAB Trade, you have to qualify on one of the four following criteria. So you have to be placing and completing four orders per month, or you have $250,000 in chest sponsored holdings. So in other words, $250,000 in shares held through NAB trade, $250,000 drawn down in a NAB margin loan, or $25,000 cash held in any NAB trade cash products. Now, if you're a beginner investor or you don't have heaps of capital, then this is probably gonna be kind of out of reach. Like $250,000 in shares is a lot of money in shares. And even if you're placing four orders or more a month, that's a lot of trading to be doing within a month. But if you do happen to qualify for the platinum level of NAB trade, then you can subscribe to IRS Trader. Now to do this, just log into your account, head to your user profile, and then scroll down. In the bottom right corner, you'll see a box called additional subscriptions. In here, you'll be given the option to subscribe to IRS Viewpoint. But as you can see, I don't personally qualify because I'm not a platinum level member. However, once you've subscribed and paid your monthly fee of $59.95, you'll be able to place a conditional order, which is the same as a stop loss order. Now, I can't personally show you how to set up a conditional order within IRS Trader because I don't subscribe to it but NAB Trade has put out a tutorial video on how to do it, so I'll link that up here, and I'll leave a link in the description if you're interested in watching that. Now again, if you're watching this video, then chances are you don't qualify for the IRS Trader platform, and so you're looking for a free alternative or a free way of setting up some sort of stop loss system in order to be able to be notified and sell your shares when the share price is dropping. And I think the best way to do that within NAB Trade is to set up a price alert. Now, like I said, this doesn't automatically sell your shares, obviously, it'll just alert you when your share price is dropping, but at least it gives you the alert so then you can make a decision about whether you wanna hold onto your shares or whether you wanna go in straight away and just sell them off. So to do this, go back into your NAB Trade account and head to holdings. So click on the holding you wanna set up a price alert for, and this will take you to the company page. Up the top, you'll see an alert button. Click on it and you'll be able to see that you actually have a lot of different parameters for alerts. But if you're looking to be notified, if your share price is dropping, just select the checkbox next to price drops below and enter the price you'd like to be notified about. So if you want to be notified that the share price has dropped below $5.50, for example, I can just enter $5.50 in the box. If you click the gray arrow on the right, 
you can set your delivery method to email or SMS and hit update. Then hit save ASX alerts and hit okay. Now, if you close this alerts window and go up to your alerts feed on the top right, you can see your past notifications as well as your currently active alerts. And when your share price drops, you'll be notified. Now, I actually had a lot of trouble figuring out if the NAB trade alerts were free because if you go onto their website and have a look at the pricing, it says that you have to buy credits for alerts depending on your subscription level. But I actually called NAB trade directly and I was on hold for like half an hour. But I found out from the NAB representative that NAB trade credit purchases have been phased out and NAB trade alerts are free for anyone now, which gave me a little bit of relief because I've been using NAB trade alerts for quite a while now. And I was a little bit worried that maybe I've been paying for all these alerts because I was getting them quite regularly, like multiple alerts a week. But thankfully it's all free if you have a regular NAB trade account. Now, like I said at the start of the video, I don't personally use a stop loss method of selling shares. I like to invest for the long term. And so if the share price of one of the companies that I hold is dropping, if anything, I see that as an opportunity to go and buy more of that company because it's on a discount price. And I only really believe in investing in companies that I really trust will survive any sort of a downturn, including something like a pandemic or a financial crisis. And like Warren Buffett himself said, be fearful when others are greedy and be greedy when others are fearful. So if everyone is selling your share, selling your company, that's your opportunity. If you believe it's a really good company and it is, that's your opportunity to go in there and buy even more of that company while the price is really low. And in this sense, I actually do use price alerts because I like to set up a price alert on a company that I'm watching so that I know and I'm notified when the price hits a level that I really wanna buy it for. So in that sense, I find these price alerts from Navtrade actually super useful and really helpful. Now, if you're interested in the shares that I like to buy through Navtrade, go and check out my last video which is a breakdown of the shares that I bought and my results from 2020. And be sure to check out my investing playlist for more investing content if that's the sort of thing that you're interested in. Other than that, I hope you have an absolutely brilliant day and I'll see you very soon in the next video.